All right, so Gordon, uh, talk a little bit about the chain of events that led to you having a match with Roberto Menes now. Yeah, so Nicky was supposed to fight him. I was actually supposed to fight him a while ago. He, he agreed to a no time limit match with me uh, three or four months ago before Craig even fought him. And then I ended up fighting Mateus and Craig ended up fighting him and we never had a match. Uh, you know, I love Roberto. We've trained together. We've had wars in the gym and uh, it's, it's an exciting match. It's unfortunate that Nicky got hurt. It was like a week, a week and a half before the match. Uh, he was training in here and went to go come up off of a calf slicer it was and he hurt his knee. And, uh, it actually swelled up. I'm sure everyone saw the picture yesterday. It swelled up. It got black. It got. He was losing circulation to his leg. He went to the hospital and they did CAT scans and everything. He's still waiting for the results for his MRI, but he can't extend his leg. He's he's still pretty messed up. So we're waiting for those results. And you know, Roberto was supposed to have a match in a week, and I haven't competed in a long time. And I know that Roberto is game to fight anyone. And so I was like, well, if he wants to have a match, then let's have a match. At least it'll be a match where both guys are trying to finish finish uh, each other and you know it's a, it's a good match for the fans to watch it's got to be uh, exciting for you because you deal with so much i guess what people call anti jiu so people just trying to pull out and just survive right knowing that roberto win or lose he's gonna be coming for you right yeah um there's nothing better than having two guys that want to go out and, and submit each other my whole game is based around just dealing with guys who want to stall against me and how I can put them on bottom and how I can get them to actually do jiu-jitsu. With Roberto, at least, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, he'll be coming forward the whole time, even against dangerous guys like Craig, you saw him fight. Like, he goes the whole time, he comes and he tries to get to your back, he tries to pass you, and he tries to submit you. So, uh, I'm excited for this match. I'm excited, you know, for once to actually do jiu-jitsu against a guy who wants to try to finish me. Yeah, so the Ryan family will be focused on Roberto for a little bit because uh, your brother will be his next match, it sounds like, right? Yeah, so uh, I'll compete against him now, and then whenever Nicky gets better and his knee's ready to go, he can compete against him later. It's, I mean, I, mean, I know Roberto's number one at 185. I'm not 185. I'm like 215 right now, um, and he's somewhere around there, 185, 190. So Nicky can fight him at 185, go up a little bit, and then he can fight me and go up a little bit. So it'll be the best of, uh, best of both worlds. There we go. Everybody, make sure you tune in February 26th. Who's number one? Craig Jones versus Aldo Jr., the new co-main event, Gordon Ryan and Roberto.